Uh, guys, okay, I'll I'll introduce myself, Jimmy O from JoeBlow.com. Uh, thank you guys for making this movie. By the way, I'm, that's the first thing I'm gonna say. Yeah, I, Victoria, I want to start with you. Um, I've seen your work as an actress. I've seen you in this field doing a lot of interesting things for a lot of with a lot of interesting great characters. Why was it this story that you wanted to tell as a filmmaker? Oh man, that's such a beautiful question. Thank you so much. And You're I welcome. Think there's been like a, an incredible amount of versatility, um, you know, kind of, I've been lucky enough to kind of do a lot of different um, genres as far as technically. And so this was my first co-lead and, and, and also working in comedy to like this, this um, uh, magnitude. <clears throat> was really really important for me and i felt like it was a huge challenge i i uh was really interested to see how i was going to try to um you know with the help of of everyone else along the way obviously but do my job in um creating uh, lupe as a multi-dimensional character and and really you know including that heartfelt um kind of aspect to it as well as you know hopefully making people laugh and uh, yeah, as long as I could do that. I mean, that's, a, you know, if I can make my mom laugh, I'm like, okay, cool. That's, a, that's the, that was the main goal. Uh, so hopefully that happens. <laughs> yes, no, it's, it's very funny. Ke Kehu, I, I love this role. I love your performance here. Uh, this is oftentimes teenage movies, like, you know, they deal with these characters in, in a very <laughs> kind of generic way. What? Let's talk about this character and how you approached her. It's just lovely. Sure. Um, thanks for the question. Oh, I just want to correct you. My, uh, it's pronounced Kuhu. Kuhu. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm no, so it's sorry. okay. <laughs> That's why we're here. That's why we're it's here. It's an awesome name, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of use Sunny as kind of, um, for me, it was like, greatly healing. And I use it as an opportunity to like heal myself. Like in addition to therapy and medication, et cetera, I used it as uh, an opportunity as I do usually a lot of my projects to teach me about a new uh, part of myself. And for me, this was greatly, greatly healing to like look back at who I was when I was her age and um, try to forgive myself for some of the things in the past and um, kind of like work through some of like the sexual shame that's been ingrained in us from a young age. And let go of all of that. Yeah, we're in a very interesting time too. If you think about, and, and I love, I, I love that you brought that up. Uh, we're in a time where, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with sexuality that people are afraid to deal with it. Free people are afraid to talk about it, and this film specifically deals with it in a very um, honest, honest way. Is that was that what were the conversations like? as you let, was there rehearsal? Was there, were you trying to find, how did you find the reality in this story and make these characters real and truthful? We d definitely did have some rehearsal. It was a very collaborative experience from the beginning, uh, thanks to Natalie Morales and, and everyone involved. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and for us, I think there was an inherent understanding since all three of us are women of color of like, the kind of conversations that we grew up with and the kind of uh, expectations that we had when it came to sex growing up. Uh, and we were able to bring a little bit of that truth already into the into the scenes that we had. Um, for me personally, uh, it was definitely like um, trying like to toe the, the line between how much does Sunny logically know that purity culture is bullshit versus mm -hmm. how much does she have to convince herself that she can let that go because it is so ingrained already, even if you logically know it, your body hasn't caught up to the fact sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that, like feeling of guilt and shame hasn't caught up to that sometimes. So reckoning with that balance. Hopefully whoever is being chased by the police will get caught. I, I do hope that. <laughs> kind of touch and go. It's touch and go here. <laughs> I was, that's what I love about this, what we're doing now. We're in a completely different world. I had, a year and a half ago, we'd be in the Four Seasons talking about this movie. Now we're on camera getting, seeing into each other's personal lives. It's a bizarre thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Victoria, you popped up. So I'm going to go back to you guys, you a little bit, because I want to talk about the relationship between these two characters and, and the, again, the truthful, the honesty between that. How did, how did you guys kind of connect this? Because with a little, this wasn't a little rehearsal. I felt you guys were best friends. There was never a moment I didn't believe that. 
how did that happen and how did you guys find that? So that both of you can act that, but let's, let me start with you, Victoria. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, um, you know, initially who and I had this really, uh, grounded understanding of each other as, you know, just actors and humans. I feel like we were, um, incredibly honest with what we wanted out of our experience filming. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was really helpful along the way to uh, kind of check in with each other, um, you know, just as Victoria and Kuhu, and then also kind of regain um, our, you know, composure as characters and check in on that level too. And I feel like that constant communication really helped with every single day meeting each other where we were at and just hoping for the best and hoping that we could, you know, make some kind of like <laughs> silly magic happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna like start off by being like, oh no, it was like pretty immediate, which is which is true. Like, you know, not to take an easy way out. Like it is true that like uh, we had chemistry like that. It was something, there was something magical yeah. and inherently instinctual there. But now that you're mentioning that Vic, like you're so right. We were depending on each other so much and checking, unpacking so much after every single instance of everything, really analyzing where we were mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, every single step of the way, it was a true partnership, and we really were generous with each other, I think, during yeah. That allows you just to feel comfortable to take risks with each other, at least for me, you know, creatively, if you trust them, you trust somebody as human, like, you're going to creatively feel more open to uh, whatever they have to give you. So, with the script, was it were you guys allowed to kind of expand on it or or give your thought and input into any of any kind of conversations any dialogue that didn't feel true to you or was it all all there on the page absolutely the, the former of the two it was so collaborative from the beginning and everything was kind of through the lens that that natalie provided for us of what feels comfortable for you what feels natural to you um what feels nice when it comes to like your chemistry with each other when you are sunny and Lupe. and that just made the whole process so much easier and more authentic Okay. Nice. Uh, so same with, with you, Victoria? Yeah, the writers, I mean, created this beautiful world and this story, and we kind of just got to step foot in it. And, you know, Natalie was just super open to something that was comfortable to us. Um, and, you know, we could figure out a way to make that happen with still keeping it uh, uh, you know, true and authentic to the story. And, um, and yeah, I think that was, that was, it was a super uh, collaborative communication. How was she just a, as a director? What is it? What's that like? I, I just I got a good vibe from this. <laughs> Absolutely, she's phenomenal. Um, I've never I've never felt um, any way about a director that I have with her. I think that it's just super singular, and uh, and she's she has holds so much goodness as a human. She has so much uh, passion and articulation in what she does, and I think that comes through in the way that she communicates with actors, but also like with her own character. Yeah. What about you? I mean, especially was it was it based on her character? It was in in any way or her as a person in any way your character, Kuhu? Did I say I, it right that time? Yeah, yeah, you did totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that Natalie brought a. I mean, it's so in the like the whole film. I feel is so in the pocket of like Natalie's vision and her world mm. and her mind, uh, and it's so exciting to to see that unfold. Um, I think she brought a little bit of herself to Lupe, a little bit of herself to Sunny. Um, she's like putting her handprint on every like inch of this movie in such a glorious way um, while simultaneously allowing everyone's opinions to also be taken into account, which is so wonderful. Oh. To me, she is the ultimate multi-hyphenate artist. And there was this like nice little like micro world that me, Victoria and Natalie were, were living in during the whole time where we could really depend on each other and, and see each other and hold each other like as anchors throughout the whole process. Oh, that's lovely. Now, did you guys, do you connect to this character? Did, is this in any way you? I think it was an old version of myself for sure. Um, yeah, I think that some parts of her um, tied into some of the, the more like visceral anxieties that I've had in the past. Mm -hmm. And though I was way more reckless than her, I think I still had all these worries um, that she had and I was able to really heal them and let go of them and, and allow myself to, to like, become a little bit more free after going on this journey with her. Nice. So what about you? Um, yeah, I, I thought that, you know, I really connected with um, 
I don't know. I feel like, you know, not to give too much away, I feel like you do eventually see that Lupe is putting up a bit of a front, um, especially sexually. I feel like she kind of pretends to know a lot and she truly doesn't. Um, whether or not you notice that, she doesn't. Um, and so, you know, I, I feel like that's a something at that age where you feel like, well, I, yeah, I know everything. And then I, you know, I've got the, you know, I've got the goods, I've got the know, and you kind of, it's this, it's who you're, you're trying to figure out who you're becoming. And, um, I connected with her in that way and I, I'm sure everybody can. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, here's the thing. I feel like, uh, you know, I grew up watching a lot of high school movies and, and, and these stories. I think these this movie specifically really connects to teenagers today. I, I think it must be really hard to be a teenager growing up today with all the with the, the technology. You, you can destroy someone's life on Facebook, you know, and that's such a weird time. Did you guys kind of, I don't know, do you feel that they would survive in this kind of world these two like it's such a crazy time yeah it is um you know the access of information is just blown wide open uh mm -hmm. there's there's really inordinate amount of information and and pop-ups and and screens just being just inundating people's minds right now um but i also think that you know having a little sister as well like they use these as tools to get closer to each other and create their own little communities and that's one of the more, more beautiful things about the internet is that it really does make their world smaller. They use this huge, ginormous, limitless thing to make their world smaller and more secure and more accessible. And so I feel like, you know, for them, they are just two people in the small high school, in the small community. For them, it was a huge step to go into to Rapid City, which is just another small town in the middle of nowhere, you know? Um, so I think that they would have made it a community wherever they, wherever they settled. Uh, what about you, Victoria? Are are you are you guys both social media? Like, do you like that stuff? Are you are you on it? I'm. Uh, I, I think that I have a. I have a. Uh, I have a good relationship with it. I, I, I tend to stay off of it mainly. I, I do Instagram. Um, you know, I try to kind of just. Uh, I think you know what's really great about this upcoming generation is that there is a conversation about creating a healthy relationship with this new access to. Um, uh, technology that we have and i'm really excited to see you know i learned from them uh I, and um i'm really excited to see kind of how they navigate that because it's you know i'm i'm an adult but i i'm playing a teenager you know, a lot of the time and so i have to think about that in you know the process of when i'm kind of working on a character because they're growing up in a time that you know is way different than when i grew up in so i have to take that into yeah well guys it's an absolute pleasure you're both wonderful in this film it's a really sweet movie I, it gave me the feels in every oh. way <laughs> <laughs> so cheers guys thank you so much thank, thank you. you so much james have a good rest of your day you too good good, uh, good afternoon <laughs> cheers good guys good evening whatever it is <laughs> whatever it is <laughs> bye thanks, james. thanks guys <laughs>